If you're not using good till cancel duration for your eBay listings, you may want to consider setting up auto relist rules. There are two ways to enable auto relist rules. Using account based rules, and these apply to all listings with a specific set of criteria, or using per listing based rules. So let's begin with the account based rules. First, navigate to settings, select auto relist, and turn auto relist enabled to the on position. Next, let's set up the relist preferences. The first option is listing status, and the options available are only unsold, only sold, or any status. Listing status refers to whether your listing on eBay had any sales or not. If you set this rule to any status, then it will auto relist your items regardless of if the item was sold or unsold on eBay. Please note that any item that has a quantity of zero will be set to one when it is relisted unless it's prevented by the following inventory based rules. Next we have eBay quantity and our options include any, more or equal, or between. This rule is based on the stock quantity of your eBay listing. So for example, if you want to make sure that only listings that have a quantity of one or more auto relist, you would select more or equal and set the quantity value to one. Then we have total store quantity. The available options here are also any, more or equal, or between. If you're using a store connection with Inkfrog, currently Amazon, Shopify, or BigCommerce, this setting is based on the stock quantity in your store. If you enable Ignore End Early, this setting will ignore all auto relist rules if you manually end your live listings within Inkfrog. If it's turned off and you manually end your live listings, they will follow the auto relist rules you've set up here. Max Relist, if enabled, will prevent additional relists of a listing if it meets the threshold set here. For example, if you enter a value of 5 for max relist number, once a listing is relisted 5 times, it will stop auto relisting. With max relist turned off, the listings will relist indefinitely and according to the other settings you've enabled here. The scheduled posting time offers the ability to set a particular time frame so that buyers are more likely to be available when a listing ends. If you turn this option on, you're able to set values so that listings are scheduled to post between specific time frames. You're able to set when to relist. The options available are immediately, delay after end by hours or days, and only on certain days, and you would make your day selections and your time selections. Listing format will only automatically relist listings in the selected format. The options available include any, fixed price, or auction. Once you've completed making your selections, click Save Settings. You may return to your auto relist settings at any time to reconfigure the setup. Now let's move on to per listing based auto relist rules. If you prefer to not set up account based rules, you may apply a relist settings on a per listing basis. So first access your library and select one or more listings you would like to relist automatically. Select bulk actions, then listing actions, then auto relist settings. At the top of the next page are three options. Set all products to use account settings. If selected, all of the listings you've selected in the library will be set to use your account-based settings for auto relist. Disable auto relist for all products will turn off auto relistings for all of the selected listings. Set all products to use product settings provides the ability to set up auto relist rules specific to the selected products. For this example, we're going to use Set All Products to use product settings. You'll find similar options here as we've gone over in the account-based settings. These include listing status, eBay quantity, store quantity, ignore end early, maxed relist number, relist times, relist scheduling, when to relist, and listing format. Once your selections are made, select the Set All button. In the Relist Enabled column and Using Product Settings column, we can see that these listings are set to Yes, which confirms that they're using the Relist rules and using the per listing product based rules. If you have questions at any time, please reach out to our customer care team by selecting the help icon within your account or simply email open at inkfrog.com.